Look at him thrash. Look at him. Oh, he's like a salmon. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Team Handyman's The Master Angler. Sit back and spend the next few minutes taking in some of Southern Alberta's great scenery, as well as some of its best fishing as shown by one of its most experienced guides, Andy Vanderpool. Hi, everybody. It's Andy, and we're back to continue part three series of Lake Whitefish Run 09. We've only got, what, a few days left, probably, the mid-December it's over and here it is December 2nd 09 and we finally got ice up the whole lake is iced in uh, I'm gonna give out get out and give it a try it's about minus 20 uh, cold storm the last couple of days uh, it was open water the last time I was here and I caught quite a few fish but we'll see we'll get our lines in and we'll see if we can catch another big white fish for you part three series of transition to ice up Check this out. Uh, ten days ago, this is what I started on a slush, and then there's still a little bit of open water there. But we're gonna give it a try and see if we can get some uh, lake whitefish for you today. But the lake is froze over totally, all the way across from shore to shore. That's what we've been waiting for. But like I say, we're running out of time. The lake whitefish run will be usually is over by mid-December on McGregor Lake, and. Uh, I'm going to give out and get it, get out and give it a try to see if we can get you some lake whitefish. So stick with us, sharp hooks, tight lines, and enjoy the outing, as we will as well. Okay, just finishing off looking at the ice. Look at the different ice. That's just newly frozen over yesterday. There's the stuff we've been fishing on the last uh, few days. Look at that. Look at the thickness change there on that ice. And we're going to go down in the corner where I'm always safe. So stick with us, sharp hooks, tight lines, and we'll hopefully get you some fish. All right. Yeah, I've caught lots of fish today. I got my long rod out for the burbot, and the whitefish are just smacking the ho the jakes. Look at that, right in his mouth. That's a nice fish. I'm gonna see if I can get him in here, land him for a second. Let's take a look at that. Nice fish. One after another, steady today. Yeah. Didn't show them all. There was quite a few I got to the hole. It was over before I could get the camera out of my pocket. But anyways, there's the ice, and we're having a great time trying to catch these fish. All right, we'll get it back down there and even catch another one. Just like that. Third day ice fishing. Nice. All right, another ice and white fish. Just like that. Bang. Got a, look at this. Tough conditions. Oh. Next, get him back in there, catch another one. Another nice one. On. Jigging up, Lake Whitefish. Top conditions. All right, another nice whitefish. Get him back in there, see if we can catch another one. Just like that. Nice, another one. Yep. Tough conditions. If you work at it, you'll get them. Just like that. Nice one. Look at that. Beauty. They're just hammering it. Oh, and he got off. See you later. Whoa, nice. Look at this. Wild action. Whoa. <laughs> I got a good one on. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Woo. In the hole. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a good battle. Nice. Oh, there he is. I'll get them hooks out of him and get him back in the water. Next. Well, the hole's drilled. Lots of people out on the ice. And there's open water. And we're catching great white fish. Look at that. Dinners. Well, then the master angler is your man once again. Be it summer or winter, he can arrange trips to many rivers and streams, in addition to many prairie lakes such as Crawling Valley, McGregor, Badger, Kehoe, Travers, and Little Bow Lakes. The Master Angler also offers great walk and wade trips to many of Southern Alberta's great trout rivers and streams, such as the world-famous Bow River for monster rainbows and browns, the Sheep and Highwood Rivers, which hold, among others, rainbows, bulls, brook trout, and Rocky Mountain whitefish. 
Now either bring your own rods and tackle, either spin or fly, or leave it to the master angler to set you up as he has all the necessary equipment and gear to get you out fishing. Either way, make sure you bring your camera so you can remember your trip of a lifetime with the master angler. 